Hi, I'm Ty. I'm with Blue Wolf, and today we're going to talk about flashlighting, how you can wirelessly download your basic stamp programs. Hey, did you know if you had the Flashfly Serial Kit that one of the extra features of it is you actually get a built-in USB to RS-232 converter. Simply remove your XP base module. You're going to plug this into the RS-232 adapter board module, just like so. You're going to take your USB cable and you plug it in. And now you have a USB to RS-232 converter. All built in, right out of the kit. Okay, today we're going to talk about some of the modules that make up the Flashfly system. I also wanted to point out that the Flashfly system uh, is not solely dedicated for the uh, basic stamp. It could also be used for anything else that you might have. Let's say you have an AppMail processor or Arduino or uh, PIC or anything else that you need to just transmit data uh, back and forth from the base module and our remote module that will take care of transmitting that data. Now with the basic stamps, the Flashfly modules, they have built into them to where you can actually download your program right out of the stamp editor, right down into your basic stamp. So unlike, for instance, this little Bobot, I can actually wirelessly program this from my computer. This guy could be out traveling around on the ground, and I go, oops, I need to make a program change, and boom, I can do it, download to it. So it starts again with the base module, you can see right here. And this is kind of designed to take an XP module, either XP Series 1 or Series 1 Pro, in case you want a further distance. Power requirements are all taken care of in there for that. And you can see it just plugs in just like that. And this is our base module. Doubles as a USB Explorer board as well, so it's an extra benefit you get out of this module. The remote module, you can kind of get a little close-up of it right here. Um, it's the same way. It's got some headers on the back in case you want to do more experimenting with uh, XBs. But this works the same way. You just take the XB module itself and you plug it in. And there we go. We got a little remote module right here. And nice thing about this module is you can use it in a couple different ways. We got a few different options. One, if you have a breadboard application, and you need to program, let's say, a stamp interpreter chip, which I actually have in here. I got a little stamp interpreter chip right here. And I can actually take my remote module, plug it right into my breadboard, and I can program this wirelessly now. So if I had this whole thing out in the garage with a battery or up in my roof on a weather station or whatever, I can program it wirelessly, no more cables. And I can get my data transmitted back to me as well. So really nice little thing. Now, if you're not into breadboarding, and let's say you got, again, your little uh, Bobot or something, other mobile robot that has a basic stamp, you can connect it up to what we call our RS-232 module. And you can see this is very simple. It's got DB9 on here, RS-232 in, and over here we got 3.3 volt logic out. What does that mean for you? Well, if you got a propeller chip or anything else that you need to communicate with a serial device, this module will do it just by itself. So this is an extra benefit if you'd like to have one of these. So now what we do is we just take our remote module and you can see we have headers on there. It just plugs together just like so. And we take this and plug it right on our Bobot. There's a DB9 connector. We take our power and plug it in. Got three pins right here. Center one is five volts, the other two are ground. So what does that mean? That's good because if you accidentally mess up 
or do anything and you got to turn it around uh, you're not going to short nothing out there so whatever you need right there and there you go that plugs right in for a db9 and you're off to go you can program this thing or do whatever you need to do Okay, let's say your Bobot doesn't have a DB9 connector on it and you have a USB connector here. So obviously our RS-232 adapter won't work in that situation. So what we've created is called a USB stamp adapter module. And here's a quick look at it. It's got a little green power on LED down here so you know when it's working. Uh, it's got an onboard 5 volt regulator so you can feed uh, up to 12 volts on the VN pin and uh, you can power things up. How that works is let's say this was a USB connection on this point you're just going to simply remove your basic stamp module off of there you're going to plug it back in on top of the USB stamp adapter like so and then you're going to take the remote module that we had and you can see how it all interconnects together plugs back in and then you're just going to plug this right back onto the top of your board and now you're ready to go you can program this all uh, via wirelessly and get data back and forth just like you could with the RS-232 version. Now the other nice thing about this board itself is that let's say you have a little uh, breadboard experiment going on and you just want to hook up a few LEDs or whatever. You can take the stamp adapter board right here and you're just going to plug it right on your breadboard like that and you can actually wire things up to it. Uh, uh, LEDs or some relays or some little tiny motors or whatever you need to do so makes a great little uh, breadboard application as well so hope that fills you in on some of what our modules do okay today we're going to show you how to actually use the stamp editor to program your basic stamp so the first thing we're going to do is we'll open up basic stamp editor get up on the screen I have a program in here I've already worked on I'm going to open up a debug terminal here so you can see it shows up as uh, COM32. So what I got is the base module right here plugged in. And I got a Bobot hooked up over here with the RS-232 adapter. So this is a Flashfly serial kit. And as you can see, I can hit the program button. It's actually downloading right there. You can see the light blink over here and my debug screen. What I've actually got is a... Uh, you can control the Bobot here using your keypad. Of course, it's on the desk, so I gotta, I gotta be a little careful, but I can go. I got a little LED on here, and I want to show you something. In my program here, I've actually got a little number called blink number, and let's say we change that to four, and I hit the program. It's wirelessly downloading to the basic stamp. You should see that light blink four times, and then also we got one, two, three, four. So uh, it changes real easy there. So, and again, I can still control it and anything I want. So the nice thing about this is I can actually get data back off of the Bobot too. So if you have whisker sensors or any switches that you need to read back, it's going to show up on the debug screen. So just to show you that one more time. Let's change this number over here to, well, let's make it uh, six this time. I'm going to download wirelessly. You can see up here, we've got number six, and we've got the light blinking six times over there. So that's how you do it. Program wirelessly, basic stamp. Welcome to Flashlight.